Hi my beautiful amazing tarot ladies around the world. How are you guys doing today? So we're going to be doing channel messages from your specific person. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. Think about your person. Have that image within your head. And feel the love and that is within them that's flowing through within this connection, within this reading. And even within yourself. For this is a generous reading, so take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't though. But follow your intuition. I'm also a witch and a tarot reader, and I'm doing personal readings, so book a reading with me on my Etsy, Instagram, or my email. Let's get started. So I'm going to be doing tarot and oracle at the same time. Oops, I'm very sorry if I'm bumping with the camera. Try to get really close. There you go. Ooh, there you go. Yep. Let's get started then. Wow, that, that flew so quickly. <laughs> Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking any forward movement. Five of Swords. Someone is really looking away from what they have and someone is also walking away. And very much another person is watching to, oh. So this could be like a third party situation though. Someone is really holding upon the swords and trying to pick up all the swords for what they have caused two connections to really go into the opposite directions and really split in two. So someone is really coming in between your connections though. And that is why there is obstacles that is in your both your paths. Not really wanting to pay attention and they don't really care much. But something is really being... Making a wall between the both of you. Being that sort of wall. You're learning a spiritual lesson. You've learned a spiritual lesson. Everything is fine. You're healing. You're missing your person and they could really be missing you so deeply within yourself. You're thinking about them. You're allowing everything to flow. But what I am seeing though, you have to surrender it. Now, you guys really could be like looking at your phone on any social medias or any memories of what you both have had. It really hurts when no one is really communicating or talking towards each other. And it's really like a distance, like not really communicating, not really like, like really avoiding, some sort of like avoiding energies though. Someone is trying to be very much control, but there is a need to be patient and surrender this to the divine. Mm, yep. Interference. An extended party is intruding on this relationship. There's interference from this connection to be moving forward. Because this connection is supposed to be moving forward. But one of you is trying to... I'm getting like the universe is saying. One of you is going to be really trying to let go of karmic cycles. For there is a lot of clarity. Very much warmth and happiness. But... Strong clarity is going to be very much coming in to show you the truth, to show you the way for the, your person could be also needing clarity and having this epiphany to knowing what is really going on and what they truly need to do within themselves and within their lives as well. Needing to take a step back, a lot of retreat, time alone in nature will help you recharge. Page of Wands. 
This girl is looking at her wand on how she should start. What she really wants is like trying to figure out what you need to do in order for things to move forward within your life. It's like a beginning stage, very small, but very much pursuing. Trust, and also the Queen of Wands, it is safe to trust in the situation. I'm getting like someone's laughing with their friends, being all happy, being very... Them like being free. There is also another situation where someone is walking away, regretting everything that they have done, regretting what they put you through, or something else is going to be putting them through this sort of feelings, being in their feelings, being in their emotions. Also, the other situation is someone could be really talking behind your back. But trust that there is going to be karma. Karma is really coming in strong. For someone who is trying to intervene, sorry, intervene in a divine connection. Oh, someone is secretly yearning for you. And they want to offer you their cup of love. This is the Knight of Cups. It's a very strong sense. They really want to be your king and queen. They really want to come in and tell you that they love you, to contact you. And they really want to rush in it too. It's like no time like the other. It is going to be, it is now or never. Ooh, but they're very passionate. Try something you've never done before. And Knight of Wands, they're very passionate. You like you ignite the passion that is within them. And you are like this person who's also it's a lot of physical and emotional offers is being much played within this connection though. Someone really does want to come in strong and really feel that you are their divine counterpart. You are their twin soul connection. You are who they want to marry to start a family, to really want to be there for each other. Everything happens for a reason and also the devil card. Acceptance needs to be very much here to accept it and to surrender it, to allow the energies to flow. Where there is a strong sense of being careful with who you trust and who you allow within your life. Accepting that every situation and everything that happens, happens for a reason. Whatever happens, happens. And whatever doesn't, doesn't. Yeah. You're about to get started, though. Having this Nine of Cups is like, you're ready. Marriage, this relationship is moving towards a sacred connection, a sacred union. Marriage is really much within your cards, within your life path. You are going to be coming out of this beautiful self into a more, because you're going to be this empress. Or even emperor. It could be either or though, but there is connection that's strongly wanting to come into marriage. Really time apart, but allowing yourself to really focus on what in, what makes you you, having that confidence, having that ambitious side. Some distance will help bring clarity. So time apart from each other, a separation though will bring clarity on what you both will need to do 
for one has already had the clarity and the other is needing time to see the truth of who they are within themselves. But that is all they have for you guys, though. Someone who's very much fair, very kind and caring towards you. You guys may be on different pages. You guys don't share the same like visions or views on things, though. But you will. Polar opposites, but you guys will attract each other. That's all they have for you guys, though. So take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't, though. <laughs> also, like, comments, and subscribe down below. For you are going to be getting what you truly want within your life path and more. So may everything be at peace and at bliss within your own connections with, and also within your life path. But that is all I have for you guys, though. Bye, my beautiful tear lily.